Welcome to STAB exam forum. Students, we have come up with chapter number 24 and in this video we are going to see 25 important question on gravitation in general science. Okay. So this was a thing that we understood in the last chapter where we told everything what you need to study in gravitational force. Okay. So let's see the 25 important question related to chapter gravitation. Okay. So the very first question is the strongest force in nature is what? These are the four options. Yes. Yes, Rakesh. No, gravitational force is not the strongest force. I told you now it is the weakest force. The strongest force is nuclear force. Understood why? Because atoms are tightly bound in the material. So nuclear force is the strongest force in nature. Okay. And weakest force is gravitational force. Okay. Coming to the next question. This is very easy one. Who defined the law of gravitation? Yes. Yes, most of you are right. It's Isaac Newton. Option A is correct, sir. Isaac Newton. Okay. Sir, Isaac Newton brought his monograph title Philosophy Naturals Principia Mathematica in 1687, where he described this law. Okay. Coming to the next question. Two bodies kept at a certain distance feel a gravitational force F to each other. Okay. If the distance between them is made double the former distance, the force will be what? These are the four options. Yes, Rajshekar. Yes, Annamalai. Okay. Yes, you are right correct answer is option D 1 by 4 of the force how we made because in the previous chapter we told you that gravitational force is F is equal to G M1 into M2 divided by D square force is inversely proportional to D square so we are doubling the distance means we are making 1 by 4 of the force okay so the correct answer is option D 1 by 4 of F. Coming to the next question. Intensity of gravitational field of earth is maximum at which of these place? Center of earth, equator, poles or the surface? Yes, all of you are right. It's pole. Student, intensity of gravitational field is maximum at the pole. Okay, just uh, read it by heart. Okay. The next question is the weight of body act through the center of which of these following? It is center of mass or center of gravity or center of both gravity and mass or its buoyancy. Yes, it is gravity. Student weight is always work on gravity okay the formula you know w is equal to mg and its unit is newton but mass is a fixed quantity okay whether you go on moon or on other planet mass will always be constant but your weight will vary okay and the unit of weight is newton okay just remember it coming to the next question a person can jump higher on the moon surface than on the earth because this is a very good question. The moon surface is rough because of which uh, he uh, jumps higher. No, the acceleration due to gravity in moon is smaller than that of earth. Yes, this is the correct answer. As I told you, because uh, there is less gravity on the moon as compared to earth because of which the body experience let less force because of which he can jump higher on the moon surface so option b is the correct answer okay the atmospheric air is held by the to the earth by which of the following 
very smart <laughs> the chapter is gravitational so the answer must be gravity yes you are right it's gravity because of gravity the atmospheric is held to the earth okay this is very interesting question as we go from equator to the north pole the value of g that is acceleration due to gravity what will happen yes yes in the previous question uh, we have seen that uh, gravitational force is maximum at where pole so it is minimum at the equator so as we go from equator to pole it will increase so option 3 is the correct answer okay coming to the next question it is very good question a man inside an artificial satellite feels weightlessness because of the force of attraction due to earth is zero at that place why why he feel weightless in the satellite okay uh, artificial satellite why why um, because of the force of attraction is zero at that place or it is balanced by the force of attraction due to moon or it is equal to the centripetal force or non effective due to particular design of the satellite yes the force of attraction is zero at that place that's why uh, the man inside the satellite is not experiencing any force and he feels weightlessness so correct answer is option a okay coming to next question this we have seen uh, a, a little different one in the previous slide in the earth the weight of body is maximum at uh, which place okay don't confuse with north pole or so south pole in this question because your weight depends upon what mass and gravity okay and gravity depend upon the altitude so maximum it will be on the surface of earth so option d is the correct answer quickly coming to the next question the spoon dropped by an astronaut in a satellite will what will happen to that spoon okay it will fall to the floor no why because there is no gravity if there is a gravity then it only fall it remains stationary no it should be uh, moving na you must have seen in movies also continue to follow the motion of satellite yes this is a correct it experience some force force by which the motion of satellite so it's experience the same uh, motion of the satellite as spoon will experience okay it will not move tangentially so option c is the seems to the correct answer okay the cause of tsunami as deduced by the seismologist is yes this is very interesting one Uh, no and this time you are wrong it's not gravitational pull due to the earth it's because of the deformation of sea floor and the vertical displacement of water so option c is correct okay don't uh, confuse tsunami with the gravitational pull only tides you can relate with the gravitational pull okay understood coming to the next question a piece of paper and a cricket ball are dropped from the same height this is very beautiful question under which of the following condition do reach the surface simultaneously yes yes rashekar cricket ball will come first uh, no you have not understood the chapter well okay uh student remember that uh, this acceleration due to gravity is independent of the mass of object okay so whether it is a piece of paper or a cricket ball both will reach the surface simultaneously unless and until they are dropped in a vacuum okay so option d is the correct answer cricket ball will not come first okay only they reach the same uh, surface simultaneously only if they they are dropped in vacuum okay option d is the correct answer coming to the next question the center of gravity of a sprinter during the race lies in yes uh, yes this is somewhat a uh, uh, tricky question uh, okay so some might say that uh, none of these is correct 
so we will skip this question okay two stone of different masses dropped simultaneously from the top of the building that just now we have seen both stones will reach at the same time okay because acceleration due to gravity is independent of the mass of object okay so option 3 is the correct one when the body is taken from earth to moon what will happen uh, for this you need to understand the difference between mass and the weight mass is a constant quantity okay so if you take uh, any object of mass m from one planet to another or anywhere in the universe it remains a constant and uh, whereas weight weight depend upon the gravitational pull exerted by the planets okay so it will not remain the same so the correct answer is weight changes but the mass remain the same okay so option b is the correct answer the sensation of weightlessness in the spacecraft is in orbit do is due to which of the following these are the four options yes see uh, everybody is saying absence of gravity outside this is wrong interpretation just correct it yourself weightlessness is never associated with the absence of gravity there uh, what happens that acceleration in the orbit okay is equal to the acceleration of due to gravity outside okay so option b is the correct answer okay so this is the explanation you can read okay a parachute uh, descends slowly whereas stone drop the same height rapidly why this is very a uh, typical question uh, yes yes prerna yes you are right a parachute has a large surface area of the balloon okay and due to which the air resistance is more that's why parachute descends slowly whereas a stone drop from the same height rapidly goes down okay so option c is the correct answer so an aircraft uh, can perform maneuver in the vertical loop because of yes yes he takes the help of gravity to do that so option a is the correct coming to the next question it is easier to carry two bucket of water in one hand than to carry one in one hand because because yes yes whenever you are having two things in your hand differently so your center of gravity and center of equilibrium falls within the feet so option c is the correct answer okay understood okay yeah this is a very good question what is the minimum escape velocity of rocket to be launched into space okay so at what uh, velocity you must throw an object so that it escapes the planet gravity okay so yes yes it's 11.2 km per second so option c is correct 11.2 km per second is the escape velocity okay a man standing uh, close to the platform at railway station experience pulling force toward fast moving train you must have seen na uh, if you are closer to some uh, metro or some railway platform it gushes into uh, yourself what is the reason yes yeah it's it's basically not because of gravitation it's because of the pressure difference due to the fast moving of object so it's coming with heavy rush so there is a outside less pressure and uh, on the surface of the train it is very high pressure so because of that pressure difference the it tries to gush into uh, the train okay so option 4 is the correct answer what type of force acts on a moving car around the curve yes this is very easy one yes centripetal force student centripetal force as the word describes centri means center petal means seeking okay the force which is seeking inward is called centripetal force 
where as the force which is seeking outside is called centrifugal force okay so option 3 is correct okay if there were no gravity which of the following uh, will not be there for fluid yes yes fluid uh, has a gravity opposite to the gravity what is that called upward thrust okay so upward thrust will not be there if there is no gravity okay why is weightlessness experienced while orbiting the earth in spaceship yes it's not zero gravity it's because of the orbital motion they are experiencing weightlessness just remember it it's because of orbital motion not because of the zero gravity okay that's all student uh, so we have covered 25 questions i hope you are liking uh, this video and we will come with uh, some more videos uh, during which you can prepare well for your exam thank you and have a nice day